Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True and today I'm going to show you how to make a dynamic chart using the offset function in Excel. Uh, most of us have gone into Excel and created data. Uh, so for instance I have data here. Uh, we've got the month and we've got the data for each month. Uh, we normally would highlight this chart or this table uh, and go ahead and insert a, a chart and the chart would display the data like this but when uh, most users create this they have to go modify that line every time they add a new data point so October runs along they have to add a new uh, series new part to the series to make this line uh, I want to show you today how to make this dynamic so that you don't have to ever add another data point uh, without it automatically adding it to your chart. So, um, so here's a sample of what this will look like. So I will go over here and type in October and the value is 16. And look at that, it added it to the chart. Um, we can keep going, we can go November and go, uh, let's say eight, hit enter. And it's added November automatically. This will keep going all the way until we ever get to the end of the data. Uh, or want to stop and start over. So we'll just keep adding and adding and adding. So how do we go about doing this? Well, let's go over here to the Try It Yourself tab. And you can download this template uh, to be able to try this out for yourself uh, at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Hope you will and leave me some comments and feedback and let me know uh, what you think. So uh, the way we do this is uh, we are going to use an offset formula. So here we have a sample offset formula. The offset formula is going to tell Excel how far, where to start, and how far to grab uh, data for. And we can tell it, why don't you go ahead and count how many values are actually in that column. And we're going to use that for the number of rows in our series. And this offset formula creates a range. It doesn't do anything else besides create a range. So to use it, you have to uh, use it in a sum formula, a count formula, a uh, average formula or we're going to pass it to an Excel chart uh, to make it the dynamic range that you saw on the previous page. Um, not only are we going to create a chart data series, we're going to create the dynamic chart x-axis with another offset formula. This is one of the catches in Microsoft Excel when doing dynamic charts. You, you can't do it as a chart range. You have to create named ranges and assign those to specific data series within your chart. Uh, so you can go ahead and, and take a look at this and um, we'll go ahead and do that. So the first step that you want to do is you want to go up to your formulas ribbon in Excel 2007. You uh, want to define a name. Now we can define the name right here and uh, you'll notice that once we define it, it, it picks a specific area. Uh, so it's kind of nice. I usually go into the name manager under the formula ribbon. I've already gone ahead and created these offset formulas. Uh, and given in the name of dynamic chart data and dynamic chart x axis as you can see here uh, and each one of these have an offset formula the reason I like name manager is once you've created them you can click in here and test and see with these dancing ants what your series looks like let's go ahead and take a look at the x axis as well I click on that I click down in here and look at that it has selected this information based on this offset formula it is gonna look at the column A um, and it's going to go down as many rows as it counts um, and that's what we're going to pass into Excel. So already gone ahead and created those for you um, and so let's go ahead and make our chart right now. So first thing we want to do is we want to click into a blank cell and go up to the insert ribbon and in the charts group we want to create a line chart, a 2D line chart uh, and we'll bring this over here. Now since we already created the named ranges, we want to add data. So in the design ribbon that comes up after selecting the chart, we can click on select data. Now once again, I said um, one of the catches here is we can't create this as a named range. If I go ahead and put that in there and hit OK, it gives me reference is not valid. Well, maybe I uh, left a space between. That's what I did. So I'm going to uh, take that space out, click on OK. Did you see what it did? It actually converted my chart range to an actual hardcore range. So let's, or a fixed range. Let's click on select data. So look at that. Even though I put that dynamic formula or named range in there, Excel changes this into a fixed static reference range. That's not what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Click on OK. Get rid of that. Go back into select data. We're going to add a data series. So we have to add each individual data series to do this. Uh, we'll just call it dynamic 
And here's the other catch in Microsoft Excel uh, when doing dynamic ranges. You have to give it the complete, so an equal sign, uh, the complete file name including the .xlsx and then the named uh, with an exclamation point and then the named range. So it looks something uh, like this. So we've got equals dynamic chart using offset download dot xls the exclamation point dynamic chart data look at that it drew my line already now the nice thing about this as opposed to what happened before if I go back and edit that series you'll see it's kept my name range it hasn't converted that to a static reference range so that's great uh, however our x-axis only has numbers it doesn't have January through September we want to edit that one and do that as well. Um, I'll save myself a little bit of time by going and actually getting the uh, named range I already created uh, out here so that you can try this in the Try It Yourself demo. I'm going to click on the chart. I'm going to go up to my Design ribbon in the Data grouping. I'm going to hit Select Data. I'm going to click on Edit in the Horizontal Category Access Labels. Click on Edit. Once again, we want to give it that complete file name uh, and with an exclamation point and then the named range as you can see there chart x-axis I click on OK it's now picked up the January through September based on that dynamic formula click on OK there's my dynamic line let me get rid of the legend here so we can see it a little larger uh, so let's go add some data October we said it was 16 look at that it's added October automatically let's add November and that's uh, nine and it's added November and added the line this will keep going this is a great way to make dynamic charts you can also use this for rolling chart months let's say it's two years from now and you've got all this data in here you don't want to keep January anymore you want to get rid of this year and show a rolling 12 months we can modify that offset formula to do that and I'll show you how to do that in the next post uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this Excel dashboard template uh, if you can go to excel-dashboardtemplates.com, you can download this file, uh, walk you through step-by-step -step on the website. Hopefully, I'd love to see if you could leave some feedback and let me know what you think. I really appreciate all my fans out there, and uh, thank you very much from excel-dashboardtemplates.com.